Hey folks, welcome back to the Jedi Knight storyline, and uh, due to a technical mishap on my part, uh, I left the console, the one I said I was going to start uh, this video at, um, I quick traveled immediately to the next area, that was my bad. So let me just show you what I did really fast. Uh, if you click on quick travel, if you have that option available to you, uh, you'll look here and there's a second this was the area we started in, the Jessica area, the upper level. There's a bind point for the work sector. And it used to be that you'd have to travel down here and unlock this bind point. It was already available for me from the console. So I highly recommend uh, using your quick travel and just going straight here. And that is going to save you some running around time. And uh, that's a good thing, ultimately. Also, you'll notice uh, I changed out my Kira Carson's outfit a little bit. I'm going to keep playing with that a little, but... Uh, I, I didn't want to go full on slave girl, I'm sorry, I know, what can I say, I just, I find her incredibly attractive, and uh, I kind of like that outfit, but uh, I also respect her enough as a fighter that I don't want her completely naked, basically, so, anyway, uh, guys, forgive me, if, uh, if you find a scantily clad female companion to be a, uh, you know, kind of a sexist or misogynistic thing, uh, I apologize in advance, um, on the other hand, I do recommend, like, hey, if there's ladies watching this and you are playing the game too, feel free to dress up your men however you like as well. That's kind of part of the fun of, of an MMO. And uh, to anybody who takes any offense at this, I'm sorry. Anyway, that is the last I'll say about that. Let's go ahead and get rolling on this quest. So, if you look in this lower area here, it's completely uh, covered in darkness and that fog. Alright, we're going to run down here to this uh, speeder point. Now, you do have to move through this area and get to that point to use that speeder. You can't just go to a different speeder point and use it there. Now the good news is I don't mandatorily have to kill anything in this area. Uh, there's other quest lines where you kind of do. So what I'm going to basically do is ride through these tunnels as quickly as possible and just get to there and that will take us to the Jedi Temple, which we found out we had to go to in the last, uh, last little chapter. So here I go. I'm just going to try to avoid most of these bad guys as much as possible. I could have jumped off the upper ledge there. Um, chose not to. Also down here is another Datacron. Uh, if you're looking to hunt for Datacrons, uh, it's up to you. I like the Datacrons, and the hunting for them is actually kind of fun. It can be a little challenging if you're not much for platforming, but uh, the stat bonuses that you get permanently go to all the characters on your legacy, and that's kind of handy. So, you know, if you're into that, uh, I definitely say go for it, and this is, uh, you know, when you're in that area for a quest, as long as you don't have a buff for uh, experience or something going, I do recommend doing it. Just run, grab it, you know, look up the video for it online, and, uh, and have some fun with it. Uh, and then continue on with whatever it is you're doing. Uh, you may also notice here, too, there's a lot of uh, aluminum and slicing, and, you know, some also some, uh, you know, what's it called? Um... Ah, scrap slicing and uh, biochem gathering points here. You know, if you are a crafter, and we've been talking about this before, grab those up. Uh, the next few planets, it gets a little tougher. By the time you hit Tatooine, it is very tough. Tatooine is a planet that's pretty much dry of, uh, you know, of gathering points if you're a you know, slicer and a scavenger. There'll be areas where you can kill bad guys and kind of scavenge off of them, but slicing is kind of a dry hole. So I do recommend that while you're on Coruscant, get your slicing skill um, to the place that you want it to be if you're looking to try to build it up here. Now, if you are just waiting to the end of the game to build it up there, that's great too. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Jedi Temple Taxi. We're going to fly there really fast. Uh, they changed the way the crew skills work. So, I mean, technically, I'm going to leave all of these at level 1 pretty much until near the end of the game and then in certain areas I'm just gonna rapidly just level those up like a madman so I have them but if you are looking like I said if this is your first character first time through this game you're just building up uh, your resources run after everything just do it uh, those low level mats may seem like ah is this really getting me anything right now um, Maybe yes, maybe no, but at least you'll be you'll have them to use if that thing that you want to craft becomes uh, an, you know a priority for you. And typically, crafting an item costs you way less than buying the item. I'm also on a pretty decent rating server, and everything gets can be kind of expensive. Uh, it's still cheaper than on some other servers, but uh, you know, I, I find like all the things I'm wearing right now are pretty much crafted. 
I feel like that's just a great way to go, a great investment to make. Alright, so also right here too, if you picked up some heroics earlier, uh, the, I can't remember the name of it, but it's uh, retrieving the astrogation charts. This is also going to be in that same area, but I'm just going to skip past these guys a little bit and take this elevator down, and we will be in the Jedi Ruins. Alright, so if you're up on the lore, by the way, that heroic area I was talking about is right over there to the left. Uh, if you're up on the lore, this is where the Jedi were housed, and if you watch the opening full motion video that Bioware put together, this is the place that got raided in the uh, Sith uh, Imperial side cutscene that you saw with Darth Malgus. So this place is still kind of a wreck and kind of a heap, but uh, it's kind of a cool looking heap if you want to look around and just kind of catch that sky and that ship that's still hanging around there. And there is kind of an upper level, and upper ring that you can get to in here uh, if you choose to do so. Uh, also, if you're ever hunting for HK parts, uh, the droid HK-51, if you're doing that quest line, one of the parts is right here in this area, so that's always good to know too. Anyway, like I said, I'm just going to skip past most of these guys. I, I took the scenic route around here. Uh, our objective is to get into this door over here. By the way, this will be pretty much the final fight of, uh, of this part of the storyline and of the chapter, so just be prepared that uh, the guy you're going to face at the end of this is a gold star level enemy. So if you don't have a lot of equipment and you don't have a companion that has a whole lot of affection, I'd recommend putting your companion probably into heal stance and, uh, and just wrecking uh, these guys with, uh, with your own DPS. If for whatever reason you chose to become a tank uh, as a guardian uh, instead of one of the two DPS branches, then I would still say put your companion in heal stance. Um, you know, and that way for sure you'll win the fight, it'll just take a little longer. Alright, we got some bad guys to kill here. Honestly, I'm just gonna skip them, to be honest, I don't really need the bonus. Right. So as you can see, looking around the room, it's just really your standard uh, weak bad guy types. Over here is the boss, once I get a little closer, uh, that'll actually start engaging the fight with Lord Tarnus. Um, to note, if you're below level 15, you don't have Heroic Moment yet. If you are above level 15, you have access to Heroic Moment, which, you know, for boss fights like this, can make it go a lot easier. I don't have it. I really won't need it. I have a very, very tough companion, and I've played through this guy before. He has a very low health pool. Uh, but just be aware that sometimes these guys do have special attacks to be aware of. Uh, since he is a Sith, uh, and a Sith boss, you can usually expect... Uh, some form of either uh, force lightning that is direct on you, an area-wide lightning that's area, you know, effect base, uh, death field, which goes onto the ground and kind of saps your health. You know, just kind of expect those dark side force user abilities anytime you're facing a force user. Uh, you can also usually tell too by the outfit they are wearing and context clues of when you are talking to them in different missions what kind of Sith they're going to be. Some will be melee marauder types, so they'll use double sabers, they'll come in close into melee range, they'll use things like force choke or force stasis, um, whereas caster types like this are tending to be a little bit more squishy, so, you know, when you close the distance in melee range, you'll pretty much devastate them, uh, but they will use a lot of, like, force tricks, um, you know, to slow you down or to sap you and debuff you. So, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and start this fight. <coughs> okay, so fight begins. A little bit of a knockback there, nothing too to be worried about. I'm using my CC breaker there. Go ahead and break out of that. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Okay, so important note, Darth Tarnus, or excuse me, Lord Tarnus, uh, defeating him is going to set up the whole next act because you're real bad guy for this whole first section of the game is going to be Darth Angrel. So, uh, spoiler alert, uh, if you've gotten this far, you kind of already guessed that, but uh, now it just becomes official. I'm going to go and click on this panel, and that'll start up the next cutscene. Alright, so after clicking on that panel, you're going to get a new objective to go ahead and speak to General Varsuthra. He is in our old favorite spot. Just go ahead and click on Quick Travel and head back to the Senate Tower with Kira in tow. <coughs> Uh, and like I said, if there's anything you want to, f uh, to finish up while you're in the Senate Tower area, go and do that first, obviously, if you have the heroic. Um, I'm not showing side quests or heroic quests or anything like that in the storyline, but by all means, that doesn't mean you shouldn't do them. 
uh, just means that uh, they're optional. Uh, there's also, in the same area, uh, a quest for a representative of the Grief faction. That's where you get the Black Bisector title from. You know, there's a lot of stuff to do around here, but, you know, is it necessary to move the plot along? Not so much. Alright, head in here, and we'll do our next cutscene. There's General Varsuthra. There he is. Alright, and now we're into the last leg of this quest. After this cutscene, uh, Kira has... Uh, disappeared as my active companion. I'm just gonna resummon her back really fast. Ready for anything? Yeah, you know, that's just like a logistical thing that just happens. But here we go, quick travel. I'm gonna go to the Senna Plaza, and from there, uh, actually, if you really want to do this absolutely the fastest that you can, uh, I actually recommend not doing the, uh, not taking the spaceport route. If you bought a house like I recommended, then the fastest way back to your to player housing, and then from there exit into your starship, which is what I'm going to do right here. So I'm just showing you like one of the shortcuts in the game. I would say though, and this is important, there are some quests, and I've mentioned this before, that you know it'll say um, go to your ship on the dock of said planet. Or, you know, take your ship or use the galaxy map to get to set. See that? Do that. Uh, because if you just say, like, well, gee, I have a shortcut straight to that planet, I just go planet side. You know, why even waste time in the dock? It is because there is a... It will not push the plot along. I don't know how else to put it. It will break the quest a little bit. Uh, those shortcuts weren't in the game in the vanilla version of it breaks the quest chain a little. It's not undoable, it just means that you'll have to go back and do that step. So, if, for instance, if it says uh, travel to Tatooine and talk to this guy. Um, okay, great. Um, but what it means is take your ship and travel to Tatooine, and then from there you will talk to this guy. You know, so little little things like that can end up making a big difference. Uh, sorry about that, I, I exited back to the planet instead of uh, into my ship. That was my bad. Uh, anyway, so just kind of keep that in the back of your brain. It's really easy to get to know your shortcuts and start using them really appropriately and there's sometimes where they'll really benefit you uh, and other times where you may what hamstring yourself. Alright, and so uh, I just finished up uh, coming into my ship. Uh, if you've never been in it before, you can take a look around. Uh, you're going to notice I have a few things in here that you may not, depending on how new of a player you are. If you're brand new to this game, then you don't have a, a repair droid in here probably yet, or a targeting dummy, or a GTN terminal. But those are all things you can get. This is also a place where you're going to talk to a lot of your companions to advance their personal storylines. You can do that in a lot of different rest areas, but eventually they're going to get to a point where they say, Hey, we want to talk in private. What they mean is they want to talk on the ship. Uh, now to advance the quest, I'm going to click this. The whole reason of skipping that pace, spaceport uh, part of it and not running through the spaceport is just it takes too long. Come in. Anywho, that is all she wrote. Uh, after clicking that hollow terminal, that uh, quest is done, and you'll now have the quest new intelligence. Also, uh, just note you get a free buff out of that. Um, but, oh, by the way, I, I noticed this uh, too while I was in the Jessica area. I forgot to have my XP buff up while I was uh, accepting the quest there. It's always a good idea to make sure that uh, if a buff goes out, that uh, you put it back up before you start accepting quests. Quests usually give the most amount of experience, uh, and, you know, good idea to just have it up over that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and accept that, get my level up, and I'm now 15. So, that's it for uh, today. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I love you guys. Uh, let me know again, too. Do you want to see those cutscenes? Do you not want to see those cutscenes? Leave your comments below and your thoughts. Uh, if you just like seeing them yourself, that's totally cool. If you'd like me to show them to you, too, so you can see what's coming up ahead, that's fine as well. But uh, I'm going to do what you guys recommend because, uh, hey, I care about you guys. Anyway, the new player referral link is in the comments area. Please go ahead and click on that. Uh, join us in here in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic and have a great time on either the Jedi Knight or any of the other storylines. And we will see you in the game. All right, take care, guys.